Very good evening and welcome to our evening prayer on this Wednesday, the 28th of June 2023. Today we celebrate the feast day of Baroness, who is Bishop of Lyon and who died in around the year 200. And uh, today is also an ember day in which we pray for those preparing for ordination. Irenaeus was probably a native of Smyrna, born in around the year 130. As a boy, he heard Polycarp preach, who had in turn been a disciple of the Apostle John. Irenaeus is thus one of the most important connections between the Apostolic Church and the Church of the second century. He studied at Rome and became a priest in Lyon and Gaul, succeeding as bishop upon the martyrdom of his predecessor in 177. He contended against the mythological and historical beliefs of the Gnostics, giving positive value to the full humanity of the incarnate Christ and affirmed the public teaching role of the Episcopate to combat false doctrine. He is honoured as the first great Catholic theologian, one who drew upon the emerging traditions of East and West. Irenaeus died in around the year 200. <clears throat> and so our evening prayer. O God, make speed to save us, O Lord, make haste to help us. Blessed are you, Lord God, creator of day and night. To you be praise and glory for ever. As darkness falls, you renew your promise to reveal among us the light of your presence. By the light of Christ, your living word, dispel the darkness of our hearts, that we may walk as children of light. And sing your praise throughout the world. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. The uh, hymn for this evening is Jesus, you, the very thought of thee. Jesus, you, the very thought of thee, with sweetness fills the breath. But sweet upon thy face to see, and in thy presence rest. No voice can sing, no heart can frame, nor can the memory find. A sweet song and Jesus' name, the Saviour of mankind. Hope of every contrite heart, O joy of all the meek, to those who ask how kind thou art, how good to those who seek. But what to those who find are this nor pen nor tongue can show? The love of Jesus, what it is, none but his loved ones know. Trees you are only joy be as thou our prize will be. In thee be all our glory now and through eternity. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and sing us free, set us free to sing your praise, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 119. My soul is pining for your salvation, I have hoped in your word. My eyes fail with watching for your word, when, while I say, O oh, when will you comfort me? I have become like a wineskin in the smoke, yet I do not forget your statutes. How many are the days of your servant? When will you bring judgment on those who persecute me? The pride have dug pits for me in defiance of your law. All your commandments are true. Help me, for they persecute me with falsehood. They had almost made an end of me on earth, but I have not forgotten your commandments. Give me life according to your loving kindness, so shall I keep the testimonies of your mouth. 
O Lord, your word is everlasting and stands firm in the heavens. Your faithfulness also remains from one generation to another. You have established the earth and it abides. So also your judgment stand firm this day, for all things are your servants. If your law had not been my delight, I should have perished in my trouble. I will never forget your commandments, for by them you have given me life. I am yours, O save me, for I have sought your commandments. The wicked have waited for me to destroy them, but I will meditate on your testimonies. I have seen an end of all perfection, but your commandment knows no bounds. Lord, how I love your law. All day long is my study in it. Your commandments have made me wiser than my enemies, for they are ever with me. I have more understanding than my teachers, for your testimonies are my meditation. I am wiser than the age because I keep your commandments. I restrain my feet from every evil way that I may keep your word. I have not turned aside from your judgments, for you have been my teacher. How sweet are your words on my tongue. They are sweeter than honey to my mouth. Through your commandments I get understanding, therefore I hate all lying ways. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Reading from Judges chapter twenty, chapter, chapter 9, beginning at verse 22. Abimelech ruled over Israel for three years, but God sent an evil spirit between Abimelech and the lords of Shechem, and the lords of Shechem dealt treacherously with Abimelech. This happened so that the violence done to the seventy sons of Jerubbaal might be avenged and their blood be laid on their brother Abimelech who killed them and on the lords of Shechem who strengthened his hand to kill his brothers. So out of hostility to him the lords of Shechem set ambushes in the mountain tops. They robbed those who passed by along the way and it was reported to Abimelech. When Gael, son of Ebed, moved into Shechem with his kinfolk, the lords of Shechem put confidence in him. They went out into the field and gathered the grapes from their vineyards, trod them and celebrated. And then they went into the temple of their god, ate and drank and ridiculed Abimelech. Gael, son of Ebed, said, Who is Abimelech and who are we of Shechem that we should serve him? Did not the son of Jerubbaal and Zebul, his officers, serve the men under Hamor, father of Shechem? Why should we then serve him? If only his people were under my command, then I would remove Abimelech. I would say to them, increase your army and come out. Then Zavur, the leader of the city, heard the words of Gael, son of Ebed, and his anger was kindled. He sent messengers to Abimelech at Aruma, saying, Look, Gael, son of Ebed, and his kinfolk have come to Shechem, and they are stirring up the city against you. Now therefore go by night, you and the troops that are with you, and lie in wait in the fields. Then, early in the morning, as soon as the sun rises, get up and rush on the city. And when he and the troops that are with him come out against you, you may deal with them as best you can. So Abimelech and all the troops with him got up by night and lay in wait against Trechem with four companies. When Gael, son of Ebed, went out and stood at the entrance of the gate of the city, Abimelech and the troops rose up against him from the ambush, and when Gael saw them, he said to Zavul, Look, your people are coming down from the mountain tops. And Zavul said to him, The shadows of the mountain look like people to you. Gael spoke again and said, Look, people are coming down from Tabur, Tabur Erez, and one company is coming from the direction of Elon Meor Neni. Then Zavul said to him, Where is your boast now, you who say to his Abimelech that we should serve him? Are not these the troops you made light of? Go now and fight with them. So Gael went out at the head of the lords of Shechem and fought with Abimelech. Abimelech chased him and he fled before him. Many fell wounded up to the entrance of the gate. So Abimelech resided at Haruma and Zavul drove at Gael and his kinsfolk so that they could not live on at Shechem. On the following day, the people went out into the fields. When Abimelech was told, he took his troops and divided them into three companies and lay in wait for the fields, in the fields. When he looked and saw the people coming out of the city, he rose against them and killed them. Abimelech and the company that was with him rushed forward and stood at the entrance of the gate of the city, while the two companies rushed on who were in the fields and killed them. 
Abimelech fought against the city all that day. He took the city and killed the people that are in it, and he razed the city and sowed it with salt. Then all the lords of the Tower of Shechem heard of it, and they entered the stronghold of the Temple of el Barith. Abimelech was told that the lords of the Tower of Shechem were gathered together. So Abimelech went up to Mount Salmon, he and the troops that were with him. Abimelech took an axe in his hand, cut down a bundle of brushwood and laid it on his shoulder. And then he said to the troops with him, what you have seen me do, do quickly as I have done. So every one of the troops cut down a bundle and following Abimelech, put it against the stronghold and they set the stronghold on fire over them so that the people of the Tower of Shechem also died, about a thousand men and women. Then Abimelech went to Thebes and encamped against Thebes and took it. But there was a strong tower within the city, and all the men and the women and the lords of the city fled into it and shut themselves in it, and they went to the roof of the tower. Abimelech came to the tower and fought against it and came near to the entrance of the tower to burn it with fire. But a certain woman threw down an upper millstone on Abimelech's head and crushed his skull. Immediately he called to the young men who carried his armour and said to them, Draw your sword and kill me, so the people may not say, A woman killed him. So the young man thrust him through, and he died. And when the Israelites saw that Abimelech was dead, they all went home. Thus God repaid Abimelech for the crimes he had committed against his father in killing his seventy brothers. And God made all the wickedness of the people of Shechem fall back on their own heads. And on them came the curse of Jotham, son of Jeroboam. Here ends the first reading, and the canticle, the Song of the Blessed. Rejoice and be glad, for you are the light of the world, and great is your reward in heaven. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. Blessed are those who suffer persecution for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Rejoice and be glad, for you are the light of the world, and great is your reward in heaven. And from St. Luke's Gospel, chapter 16, Then Jesus said to his disciples, There was a rich man who had a manager, and charges were brought against him that the man was squandering his property. So he summoned him and said to them, What is this I hear about you? Give me an account of the management, because you cannot be my manager any longer. Then the manager said, I'm not strong enough to dig, and I'm ashamed to beg. I've decided what I'm to do. When I'm dismissed from my master, people may welcome me into their homes. So summoning his master's debtors one by one, he asked the first, how much do you owe my master? He answered, a hundred jugs of olive oil. He said to him, take your bill, sit down quickly and make it fifty. Then he said to another, how much do you owe? And he replied, a hundred containers of wheat. And he said to him, take your bill and make it eighty. And the master commanded the dishonest manager because he had acted shrewdly. For the children of this age are more shrewd in dealing with their own generation than are the children of light. And I tell you, make friends for yourselves by means of dishonest wealth, so that when it is gone, they may welcome you into the eternal homes. Whoever is faithful in a very little is faithful also in much. Whoever is dishonest in very little is dishonest also in much. If then you had not been faithful with the dishonest wealth, who will entrust you to the true rich? Who will entrust to you the true riches? And if you had not been faithful to what in with what belongs to another, who will give you what is your own? No slave can serve two masters, for a slave will either hate the one and love the other, or be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and wealth. The Pharisees, who were lover, lovers of money, heard all this, and they ridiculed him. So he said to them, You who, just, who justify yourselves in the sight of others, but God knows your hearts, for what is prized by human beings is an abomination in the sight of God. 
the law and the prophets were in effect until John came. Since then, the good news of the kingdom of heaven is proclaimed and everyone tries to enter it by force. But it is easier for heaven and earth to pass away than for one stroke or letter in the law to be dropped. Anyone who divorces his wife and marries another commits adultery. And whoever marries a woman divorced from her husband commits adultery. Here ends the second reading. And our response to Lord, you will guide me with your counsel and afterwards receive me with glory. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel and afterwards receive me with glory. For I am always with you. You hold me by my right hand and afterwards receive me with glory. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel and afterwards receive me with glory. And the Magnificat. Those who teach, keep and teach the commandments will be considered great in heaven. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm, and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Those who keep and teach the commandments will be considered great in heaven. And so we come to our prayers of intercession. Pray as always for the church throughout the world. Pray especially today in this ember tide for those who lead the church, for those who continue to be called to serve God in the ordained ministry. Pray especially for Marcus as he prepares to be ordained this weekend. Pray for him as he begins his retreat and praying for the others from this diocese, for Alison Goldstein, Grace Lomas, and Dan Morgan, who will also be ordained this week in St. Asaf Cathedral. We pray in the diocesan, in the Anglican cycle of prayer for the Diocese of Truro, for its Bishop Philip. We pray for that diocese and for the people and leaders there. We continue to pray for the Tanner at Vernui Mission area for St. Mary's Fluidiarth, resolution of ongoing concerns about the structure of the church building. And we pray today for Archbishop Andrew, for those who support the church's mission at provincial level. And we pray especially for the work of James Tout, his chaplain. We continue to pray for the needs of the world around us, praying for peace in Ukraine and in Eastern Europe, praying for the leaders and people of Sudan and places of crisis across the world. We continue to pray for those who are sick, for Louise, Gordon, Joshua, Derek, Jess, Luna, Maldwin, Meyer and Stan. We pray also for the repose of the souls of the faithful departed and among them Gerald at this time. And so we come to our prayers of intercession. Let us pray to God the Father who has reconciled all things to himself in Christ. For peace among the nations, that God may rid the world of violence and let people grow in justice and harmony. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. That those who serve in public office, that they may work for the common good. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For Christian people everywhere, that we may joyfully proclaim and live out our faith in Jesus Christ. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer for those who suffer from hunger, sickness or loneliness, that the presence of Christ may bring them health and wholeness. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. God of peace, who through the ministry of your servant Irenaeus, strengthened the true faith and brought harmony to your church. Keep us steadfast in your true religion, 
and renew us in faith and love that we may always walk in the way that leads to eternal life. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thanks again for joining me this evening and uh, wish you a very good evening indeed. Thank you.